Clint Lambert, and it's my pleasure to be the host today for Village in Motion. And we have a two-in-one for you today. First, we've got our elite winners with us, a couple of our elite winners for this month. And then we have a call-in show with Chandra Kumar, our executive director. And I am very glad and very pleased to honor and welcome Chandra Kumar, who is our executive director, and two of our elite winners. And I'm going to let Chandra introduce and go from there in regards to it. Thank you, and thank you for having us. Oh, it's and, our pleasure. Um, it is. It's at least the sun's peeking out outside yes. and uh, no more flurries in the horizon for a little <laughs> bit, right? Not until the weekend. Not until the weekend. <laughs> um, but at least, at least uh, we've... Uh, um, braved the, the good part of what was the challenges uh, exactly. uh, yesterday. So, you know, I love coming on this show. I talk about the Elite Award, uh, which is really important. Um, and this month is really interesting because mm -hmm. we had so many nominations, yes. which is great, because we have residents and staff um, who nominate and, you know, even sometimes mm -hmm. visitors. But um, so we made it, because it was our 20th anniversary, the last of the, the year, and they were so hard to pick. We had to pick four people. Yes, well. So usually it's it's been one or two, but mm -hmm. this time we had four. And of course, um, to the left of me here is our uh, leader of the quarter, uh, Derek. Um, but I'll, I'll get into all of the wonderful okay. things that they do. And, and the nominations are interesting because there are small snippets of things that have happened that right. are, are very, very impactful on the residents that have, they've affected. But these two people here and the other people that were nominated, um, you know, these are just some of the examples that, you know, what they do on a daily basis, day in and day out. So and they make our lives so much easier. They do. They really do. They we do. Could, we couldn't, really they, yeah, couldn't say thank you enough I for agree. all they do. I agree. Um, so, I mean, we had uh, several winners, um, and I, th I think we'll figure out how to get them back okay. on here. Uh, Alexandra uh, Ziedemann. Uh, who is an air move-in uh, coordinator over in Garden Ridge, um, and Joanna Ortiz Vasquez, who is our communication specialist, um, is also one of our winners. And then Scott Holden, who is not here today, also is one as our account accounting office coordinator. Um, yes. and he was the other person that was out of the the monthly right. winners. And so, but today. Um, I do have Alvin here, and I, I mean, I do I really need to give Alvin an introduction? I, tell you. I think he is probably better known than even I am as the executive director. He's and just, the cafe could not exist without him. Exactly, and I have to say the cafe does a fabulous job, but Alvin coming in is really, just makes it so special to go yes. up there and his relationships that he has with the staff and the residents and just the camaraderie that's in the cafe. It's a different culture. It is, I mean, it, it really, really is. is. Makes and, you feel good. And when he completes his task over there, then he goes over to the fireside and continues working. I mean, he, you know, does. he, he doesn't he does. know when to quit. So uh, we had a, um, and this uh, was the nomination that came in and it was, Alvin was working as a cashier in the cafe, of course. Uh, when he had a resident um, who he was familiar with, um, was really kind of, you know, struggling and looked like wasn't doing well. And, you know, um, so Alvin actually helped this person to the table, um, helped to make sure that he ate, got his silverware, took care of them, um, and really, you know, spent that time um, and, and took the interest uh, in, in a very caring way. Uh, which he does with everyone yes. daily, but really yes. because of his familiarity with and his relationship with the residents, he knows when somebody's doing well and when they're not. Exactly. exactly. Um, and you would think, okay, so Alvin works in the ca in the cafe. You know, you would expect that from a nurse mm -hmm. or someone, but he, Alvin has these relationships with our residents, um, like family. Yeah, and he, he always knows our resident numbers. He's got, he's got them memorized, <laughs> and it's always nice in regards to that. Oh, my goodness. I wish I had. I can't even remember my password half the time. <laughs> yes, it is. And it, yeah. it's, it's just it's, it's a great feeling to know that someone knows you so well. Yes. You know, it's sort of like Cheers, where everybody knows your name. Um, but, he, you know, and, and unfortunately, this resident passed away a, a few days later. Mm. Um, but, you know, you're really taking that time. Mm -hmm to care for somebody who's, who's having some challenges and knowing and acknowledging and helping with, and maintaining the dignity and right. respect is, is really what Alvin does on a daily basis. So exactly. really excited to, to be able to, to give to him his award. And uh, so this is a check. Actually, it's not a check, it's a gift card. We don't do checks anymore. 
Thanks. gift card for you to enjoy. And then this is a letter congratulating you. Then there's also a copy in your uh, file. And then of course the certificate um, is signed by all of us for um, you. And just wanted to, to say thank you for all you do every day. Thanks. Um, because without you, that experience in the cafe would not be as positive um, and as welcoming as it is. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Huh. And that is very nice. And I'm got so glad that somebody finally nominated you. I have talked about it many times. In fact, just this past week, it said to my wife, you know, I really need to you know, write Elvin up for all that he does. And I'm so glad. And congratulations. Oh, thank you. you. You deserve it. Thanks. So what makes you so happy when you're there, Elvin? Um, you know, first, I would like, you know, I feel so really happy and comfortable what I'm doing because, you know, uh, most of the time, you know, there's new residents coming in to eat there, and then sometimes they don't know what they eat, know what they need help with. So that's what I always help them out. And so the time that I'm be working at the restaurant upstairs, it looks like I'm, you know, we have more new residents coming. They're getting excited to be there, and you know, because we all want family, mm -hmm. and so and we also have a good management team. So you know, we're getting a lot of support from them, and yes. we're learning a lot of things from them. And I think that's why we, you know, we share the love for the residents and we care about, you know, their health and everything. So, and so far it's pretty going good, really good with them, you know, helping them out in the morning when they come. Cause I work in the mornings, like from seven to three. So, and it's really, you know, I'm really happy to be there helping the residents right in the morning when they come, you know, help them with serving what they need. And I'm really enjoying my job, you know. So you work seven to three at the cafe, and, and then you go over to Fireside. Fireside yeah. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. So they need my help, and it's like, okay, I don't mind, you know, because we all want to help each other. So I just always go to Fireside and help them out for like a few hours more, which is, you know, we care about the residents, so yeah. that's the reason that I do it, because we're all here for the residents. And that's what makes you so special. And that it makes really me, yeah, it makes me do my job more, Yes. you know. We thank you. Yeah, well, thank so, you. So, well, the one thing that was funny when uh, Alvin came back, probably a little bit, maybe a year after I started, he had left right. and had left before I had, right. so I had not known him before. And I was like, how did we let you get away from <laughs> us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he kind of snuck out. He right. snuck out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it was just, a, it's been a real joy to have him on that team. And as right. he said, that team and the management team has really done some amazing work. Um, you know, and really making the cafe and, and even with all of the challenges mm -hmm. with the kitchen, keeping their spirits up and yeah. getting it done. So, yeah, and, and, and this makes the third person this year, I mean, of last year, out of dining services from Fireside Cafe yes. to, to win. And so, yeah, uh, yeah. so I guess yes. third time's a charm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they are. They are just always going above and beyond. And, and, um, you know, it's always great to be able to talk about their right. successes. So um, who I have sitting next to me, I think everyone knows also is Derek. And Derek has um, been with us since 2013. Five years. Five December. years. Five years mm -hmm. as our transportation mm -hmm. manager. Um, and, you know, to be able to, to, to see his nomination and see the unanimous vote that he should be, you know, the leader of the quarter around the table from the executive team mm -hmm. um, is really really make, made me proud to know that Derek is, is, was the choice, but because having worked with him this year mm -hmm. and all of the challenges and successes that he has had, um, you know, with procuring five buses. Yes, um, and thank you. Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, and, it, and you know, if people may think, oh, well, you know, you, you bought five buses, we've got the money. Mm -hmm. That's not the process. Mm -hmm. The process, I think Derek might have probably known every nut, a nut and bolt and how many times the tires rotated on the old ones right. before we were able to really get all of that documentation together and to be able to justify, because uh, five buses is unheard of, of purchasing at one time. Right. But it was something that was needed and he advocated for the residents and for his team to make sure that they had the right equipment. Yes. Um, and of course the GPS. He's, he is the reason that we were able to get the GPS because of his tenacity and his drive to get it done and his commitment to following up. Um, and I think it's had a great impact on the community. I know I use it at night before <laughs> I go out and I look to see where the bus is. Yeah. So I know I've got a few more minutes. I can do a couple more emails before I get out. 
Um, but it's been a great uh, addition to the community, and I know that the other communities within Erickson are chomping mm. at the bit to get this. They, I'm sure he gets a call probably every week. Yes. Hey, how's it going? We want that also. So those are just a few of the examples, but really taking the transportation department to another level. Um, you know, you see the hospitality of the team members that are on there and the time right. and effort. And all of that is due to his great leadership and the example that he set. So, you know, I, I'm just, uh, you know, there's so many things that I could say. He has really been um, an amazing person mm -hmm. that runs that department and we've been giving him some additional responsibilities because we know mm -hmm. he has the capacity um, and he has the ability to lead um, with that so um, I wanted to go ahead and give him his but I'm gonna I'm gonna say your certificate we had a little bit of a printing challenge so we'll I'll give it to you but I'll take it back because okay. we need to, to <laughs> we had some challenges with the printing originally but this is a gift card for you to enjoy, Thank you. leader of the quarter, and then there's a letter in there congratulating, congratulating you on being the leader of the quarter uh, for the fourth quarter of 2018, and then the certificate. So we'll, I'll, I'll give these to you now, and then I'll just have that and bring it back, and we'll get that taken care of. Um, but you know, Derek, we, we look to see where Derek's next steps are, because Derek has been really a, um, uh, an important part mm -hmm. of our leadership team and, and our bench strength. So grateful to have him here. And he's quiet, quiet mm -hmm. guy. But he gets a lot accomplished. He gets, yes. He and does. we greatly appreciate it. And we started okay. with the the uh, idea of the GPS the day you walked in the door, I think, uh, in regards right. to it. And uh, finally got it. Thank you, sir. No problem. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> Anything you'd like to share, Dave? <clears throat> um, just a couple, a couple things really quickly. Um, for me, and we had our, our town hall meeting last week, and I said something similar, and I'd like to say that here also, is that the acknowledgement by the residents, I really do, it's really appreciated. Um, it's nice to know, <clears throat> excuse me, that the hard work that we put in has paid off. And as much as I appreciate, you know, Chandra putting the light on me, Still, at the end of the day, Chandra and Lynn Keith both played a big part in making sure that this GPS and the buses right. came. We needed it. It finally arrived. Um, so they were both the driving force in that. So I, I can't take all the credit. And also, I'd just like to add in that I, the award for myself, I really, like, as I said, I really do appreciate it. But it's not just me. I'm the face of transportation. Um, I'm receiving it. But at the end of the day, this, all of this that happens in, in regards to any of our transportation needs on the campus, this really, this goes to Colin, Karen, Jerusalem, all of the drivers mm -hmm. that, that work here all day long with the residents. They're the, they are the face of, of Erickson and Greenspring when they're in that vehicle. They take care of the residents. So I accept it, but I'm going to accept it for all of us, Great. not just myself. So I, I, it's really appreciated. And you're most appreciated, and congratulations to you, and congratulations to Elvin as well.